major project grant, we really wanted to have a bigger impact in Wishare or Burge County. We look at a major impact or a major project, we want to find something that can impact the whole community, whether that's in Burge or Wishare County, but something that's not going to just uh, hit a small group, but it's going to be able to hit a broad spectrum of people from not only our community, but from other communities that are busy. that was uh, one of the projects that I had always wanted to do. Lake Paco was in need of major renovations. Uh, the community was basically asking to do it. Uh, the Warzella family who, who originally donated the land really wanted to see the park reimagined and, and brought to its former glory. The Lake Paco project, um, what they did was they were able to kind of clean out the lake, um, make the beachfront um, more accessible and more beautiful again, kind of, to get people to come and swim. Um, we've got a canoe and kayak launch um, that are accessible as well. And then the splash path and playground are kind of the shining stars of the park. Um, it's just been really wonderful to see everybody kind of wrap around and love up on the park. <laughs> So with uh, the major project, we did definitely have a significant ask for our community, which was to build an advanced manufacturing, engineering, technology, and apprenticeship center. And we definitely were looking for people to partner with us to be able so we could construct the building and then be able to equip it. And so the Community Foundation came on to be one of our partners. The last year when we did the Amenda Center here for um, Mid State Technical College. So when we looked at that one, it's a little bit different, but it looks at how we can impact more people. And you know, we look at the students, education, uh, bringing those people into our community. So this center that they're building is going to be a great place to not only bring more people to our community, but also help them with their education and hopefully uh, you know, keep them here in the community and also you know, give back to the community as well. My experience with just what you know the Community Foundation does is so valuable for our communities and what it really does is we're able to partner with them to really further our work of trying to serve our community. So our mission of course is transforming lives uh, through the power of teaching and learning and so really what their gift and what their partnership meant was it allowed us then to move forward on something that we needed to do for our community. I mean, I would encourage them to apply. I mean, I think that regardless of whether you get it, the exercise of writing the grant is a useful one. Um, and so if you're thinking about it, write the grant. The worst that can happen is you don't get it, right? Um, and you'll have learned something about your project in the process. Communities that are looking at a project that's of great benefit uh, to their community, um, I would highly recommend that folks apply for the Community Foundation grant. Like, I was, I was kind of blown away by it. I've never seen like a foundation like come after a project and, and be like, oh, we want to give you a bunch of money for this project. So many good things. You know, when you start to get more involved in the grant level and uh, the scholarship level, you see all those different areas that they do help. And it makes a huge impact. So, um, you know, since then I've grown a lot and understood a lot more of what we do and seeing the impacts we do make with Fisher and Orange County. So full of joy and just altruistic and compassion. Like all the things, they just really. Like I said, they wrapped their arms around us and helped us through it all, which was great.